What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another super niche video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to fix this, which could be happening to you. You just randomly see remote app audio pop up maybe once, twice or more in your audio mixer or audio mixers, such as the Windows 11 one here. It's super annoying, especially if you don't know what it is. It's taking up a bunch of space. What is it? Are you hacked? No. The answer is this is happening because you likely have Docker and or WSL installed, such as Ubuntu or something else like that, a Linux distro running on your system that you can interact with. So for example, if I pull up a terminal here and head across to Ubuntu, which I have installed, stick in my password, you can see that I'm running Ubuntu under Windows over here in WSL. This is required, or at least a Linux operating system is required if you're going to be running something like Docker, which I do have installed. and that's the reason that I'm getting these. Anyways, long story short, if you want to continue running Docker and or WSL without these popping up, all you need to do is add one simple line to your configuration file and reboot your system. Hold start and press R, so the Windows key and R to bring up this, and in here, simply type in percentage user profile percentage and hit enter. This will take you to C users your username. Inside of here, you should find a .wsl config file as such. This may be hidden for you, so you may need to click view followed by show and make sure that file name extensions and hidden items are both ticked. Looking for .wsl config, you'll need to open this with any text editor. If you don't have this file, right click, choose new followed by text document and rename everything in here, including .text to be just .wsl config. Either way, open the file with a text editor and you should see something like this or nothing. I've already added something here to enable nested virtualization, but yours will likely be just blank. Either way, we need to enter inside of square brackets WSL2 as such, and on the next line or next available line, we'll simply be adding GUI applications equals false. Yes, this should disable GUI applications, but it'll get rid of that annoying audio thing popping up. You'll know that you're only using GUI applications if you're opening up something that only Linux can run, which isn't a lot necessarily, but you'll know if you're using it or not. For me, I'm not using anything GUI based in my WSL instance at all, so I can comfortably add this, save this, and close it. Now, the only thing we need to do from here is to reboot our system or to restart WSL. To do so, open up a terminal as admin or command prompt as admin and inside of here we'll be running in WSL hyphen hyphen shut down as such. If you're running a docker this will stop all of your containers so you may want to manually stop that first before just killing the WSL completely. As I am I'll just comfortably stop all of my containers. There we go. Now I should be able to run WSL shutdown as such and docker will of course close if not crash and we can choose to restart WSL if you're using something like docker or just leave it closed anyways. While it's in the shutdown state, you should see that opening your volume mixer, those strange ones have just vanished. That's it. You fixed the problem. Now, if we go ahead and reopen Docker or WSL, for example, everything should still work exactly as normal. But now you won't have this popping up in your sound mixer or anywhere else, really. So if I hop back across here as such, we're running it again under our system and there's nothing popping up in our sound mixer. Sweet. Problem solved. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. Oh, and a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter.